Hello, my name is Caroline. Thank you for joining me for this video. In today's video, we are setting up Plex Media Server on a NAS, Network Attached Storage. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Plex? Plex is a media server. You can serve up your music, your photos, your videos, and you can even cut the cord with it. In my last video about Plex, we talked about cord cutting with an antenna and the Plex Pass. If you missed that video, I will link to it below. My friends at Plex saw the video, they liked it so much, they offered to sponsor this video, and they even got me this Western Digital My Cloud Home network attached storage so that I could show you how to set up Plex with a network attached storage, otherwise known as a NAS, which is right here. And we're gonna do that today. And here's a quick demo of what we're going to accomplish in this video. I have a Roku right here. There's a free app you can download for Plex. I'm gonna fire up the Plex right now. And you can see all of your media once the Plex comes up. And to show you that I'm going to use the MyCloud, I am going to MyCloud Home and you can access your home videos. Here is a video that I made in Notre Dame in Montreal. Hello, this is Caroline, and today we are in old Montreal. And that was a quick demo of a home video that I made. And we can go back and then you can watch movies, music, and here is a sample of some music. Uh, what's really cool is that the artwork does come over. I'm gonna choose one without artwork here, and I'm gonna play Now, some royalty free music, but most of them do have really nice artwork that it comes with. Photos, and here's a beautiful photo, and here are some beautiful photos, and here is a sample of live TV through the MyCloud. And that was a quick demo of what we're going to set up today here with our MyCloud. Now let's get started talking about Plex. First of all, thank you so much Plex for sponsoring this video. Plex is a media server where you can store and watch and enjoy music that you already own, photos that you've taken, and videos that you have already recorded, such as home videos, and you can even cut the cord and watch live TV and record live TV like a DVR with the Plex Pass. Today, we are going to set up Plex on a NAS. Now, why are we doing this? Great question. We are doing this because in my previous video, I set it up on a Windows laptop and I pretty much dedicated that laptop to becoming a Plex server. And I had to have the laptop on all of the time in order for it to work. And that laptop was, you know, between five and a thousand dollars for a core five device. Now, if you don't want to go down the laptop, an easier version and something that's always on is a NAS, such as this one from Western Digital, my cloud. But the advantage of using a NAS is that it connects directly into your home router and it's always on and you should be able to access all of your files anytime uh, through this NAS. And also it does have redundancy. There are actually two hard drives and if one goes bad, you've got a backup of everything in this one location. Essentially it is home cloud storage. This is a method for you to have redundancy in a home system uh, without having to pay a monthly fee for offsite storage. Now let me show you how we're gonna connect the NAS to our home router. And first thing we need to do is we need to plug in the ethernet cable from the NAS to our router. And then next we need to power up our NAS. And it'll take a couple of minutes for it to come up. And my cloud home storage came with this nice little card here and it has really simple setup instructions. It said, we're going to mycloud.com forward slash hello. And then you're supposed to set up an account if you don't already have one. Now I already have an account and then it will look for your cloud on your home network. If it can't find it, you enter in this nine digit code right here. And then you'll attach this device to your MyCloud account. 
and uh, it is right here. So it says it is offline right now. I'm gonna hit the refresh button. It does take a couple of minutes for it to load up and here it is. Uh, so yesterday, before I started this video, I went ahead and copied all of my photos and a whole bunch of my videos and my music and I just dragged and dropped it into this interface here. So onto my web interface. You can add files by hitting the plus button right here, add files. And then let's say I want to add morning stroll, this song, I'm going to hit open and it will add that song to my cloud storage. Simple as that. That's only step one. So I've, I've got my music, my photos, my videos copied onto my cloud server. Next, I want to click on do more. So I'm in homemycloud.com. I have created my account. I've attached this device to my account. I can access everything. Now I want to set up Plex. Now, how am I going to do that? I'm going to hit do more and I'm going to click on Plex and it says Plex Media Server organizes all your photos, videos, music, movies, and TV shows and gives you instant access anytime, anywhere. Excellent. And I'm going to hit enable and I'm done enabling now and it says configure. Okay, excellent. I'm going to click configure now and okay. Using Plex, just drop your photos, videos, and music into your Plex folder and you can find it by tapping the files tab and looking for the folder. All right, let's try that. Got it. And I need to sign in to my Plex account. And this is great. This is a little tutorial here. Uh, it runs on your computer where you keep your media and uh, you play your media with your favorite app. And yeah, that's, that's one of the great features about Plex. I use my iPad, I use my phone, I use my Roku, and I can play all of my media on any device, basically anytime with the Plex app. So I'm gonna hit got it. And let's see, we found a server, my cloud home. Well, uh, I think that's this right here. I'm going to say, allow me to access my media outside my home. That is key. I'm going to leave that checked. I'm going to click next. And let's see, uh, it organizes uh, my library. I'm gonna hit next here, uh, get Plex app. Now this is if uh, you have an iPad or a smartphone, iOS or Android, you can get an app called Plex and then watch your content through your mobile devices or even a Roku. I hit done. So I'm now going to go to my cloud home and I am going to files or folders. One item added. Okay, excellent. And I'm going to Plex. I'm going to take my music. Move to Plex. Shared music. Okay, move here. There it is. So I've moved my music folder into my Plex folder and we're going to continue doing this images. So here's some images that I've got from Shutterstock. I'm going to take my images folder and I'm going to click these three dots over here. I'm going to move it and I'm going to move it to Plex and I'm going to go to shared photos, move here. And if you have a movie or you have a home video, I'd you can put them in either one. So for example, let's say I've got some movies that I own and let's say it's called The Great Gatsby. I've got it over here. I'm going to drag and drop it right here and it's going to upload that movie onto my cloud home. And you can do this with all of your movies. And uh, just to show you, let's go back one, Plex home videos. Uh, I made a home video of myself at the Notre Dame in Montreal and I've uploaded it here. Uh, so it's going to take a few minutes for this to upload onto our movies and uh, I can also upload more than one at the same time. So now I'm uploading three movies at the same time into my shared movies folder. And now you see we have uploaded our shared movies. I'm going to go back to Plex. I'm going to scan for library files and then photos. I'm going to scan library files. And now under music, you see my music starting to come up. Now, while we're waiting for our libraries to update, I do want to point out an important limitation of what we're doing today. We're using a NAS, okay, network attached storage, but not every single NAS out there is guaranteed to work with the Plex server. Fortunately, Plex has put out an article here. I will link to it below and it talks about the devices that will work that they know will work with the Plex server and devices that won't work with the Plex server. Now, obviously they sent me this one, so I knew for sure it was going to work before I bought it, but I recommend that if you're going to go down this route with the NAS storage, that you check out this support article first. The limitation is basically that every file, if you're going to, uh, most people are going to watch movies, videos, uh, from their Plex server, generally speaking. And 
in order for you to watch TV, movies, home movies, you have to transcode everything. And not every single NAS server out there uh, on the market has the capability or the capacity to transcode that much media. So what they have done is they put together this great article here and it talks about the most common NAS devices out there and you know the complexity and why, you know, the processing power. So it goes through some a little bit of technical stuff here. But what you really want to pay attention to is this related page called the NAS compatibility list. You want to click on view NAS compatibility guide. And it, they've put together this nice little Google Doc spreadsheet here and it talks about specific models will work as a Plex server or not. Uh, so for example, this uh, MyCloud does work, uh, but not every single Western Digital NAS device works. Western Digital, the MyCloud Home, works yes but the MyCloud EX 4100 doesn't work according to this article here uh, so before you go down this route please 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 do look at this list and see if your NAS device is compatible or not with the Plex server now let's get back to Plex and see if we have some libraries here how are we doing okay we've got a lot of music coming up I will let this scan and I will be right back and we're back now I have let this run for a while and you can see it is uh, indexing all of my music here and you can see I have a bunch of different artists here and it's sorting it and it's getting the artwork for the albums that's great it's moved on to photos now and it is starting to go through all of my photos and index those and then next will be uh, the movies um, and basically it is uh, going through and organizing all my files for me thank you very much excellent i hope this has been helpful thank you so much for watching today thank you plex for sponsoring this video and providing me with this cloud nas device and i'll see you next time bye now